In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can turn your photo to 3D animation in After Effects using Motionverse. I'm going to use these three exercise files for today's tutorial. I'm going to select it all here and drag and place it inside your files folder. Done. Now I'm going to go to surroundings. So these are the placeholders. We're not going to place the image we're going to use inside clean plate placeholder. Double click that. Then drag and drop your photo on top of drop photo layer here. You can then scale down or up. Just like that. We're going to close that comp now. The next thing to do is to generate our depth map. Go to depth map, double click that. For this image, we're going to use X and Y because the image we have here is that of landscape. So X and Y is designed for landscapes. So go to here, X and Y, select that. You're going to find the panel. If you can find that, you can go to window and then you can find the panel here. So enable X and Y depth. Now we're going to go to our 3D light and our light properties. It's good to start with the light properties here. So we're going to go to a global light and then we can adjust the settings here. So I'm going to add something like 168. Then I'm going to go to light pan here and I can adjust that. So I'm going to enter something like 30. We're done with this part. We're going to go to 2D light. We're going to go to our near light position. So here you can adjust the light position. So I'm going to enter something like 620 here. And then I'm going to enter like minus 720 here. The next thing nice for the shadow area. You can adjust that. So I'm going to enter here. 1370 and I'm going to enter like 20 then we can go to our intensity we can adjust that too so I can enter like minus 70 here maybe 0.4 and then we can go for the intensity of the shadow and we can enter like 91 you can move the fast shadow intensity around to get the result you want depending on the image you're using. The next thing now is to apply fast smoothness or pro. Here is pro with better details here. And you have the one for fast. So we're going to use fast for this tutorial. As you can see, Motionverse contains Depth Map Generator. That means you can do everything inside Motionverse without needing Photoshop. We're not done with our Depth Map, we can close the comp. And we're back to Editor Comp here, which is the surroundings. We're going to go to Animator. Open the panel. Minimize your eye. So we're not going to project this scene here. We're going to use a different method to power the 3D animation. So I'm going to go to display, scene selection. Here, fast random, I'm going to select the plane scene. Great. Now we can go to our depth map, enable depth map. We're going to go to selection. And here we can select our XYZ depth generator which is the one for Motionverse. 
then we're going to you can also view the depth map here view map and you can see the map you have the sharp you have the soft i'm going to hide that great now we're going to hide the features we're not going to use in this animation we don't have 3d objects here i'm going to hide those we're not going to use 3d particles for this tutorial i'm going to hide that and the fx bank and filter and then boost performance awesome now we're going to go to about three seconds we're going to press n and we're now good to animate this photo then go to animate animate camera add keyframe for the zoom lens add keyframe for the camera pan and tilt and you can also add keyframe here for the wide angle we're going to go to the end here about the three seconds and we're going to animate and look at that we're going to animate in 3d i'm going to just lower the resolution so let's do that again And we can zoom in in 3D here. And then our zoom lens as well. Now let's preview this. Perfect. Look at that. And we have turned the photo from a still image to a 3D animation. Great. Now we're going to animate the other photos as well. If you want to edit the keyframes, simply select the panel and double click it. You're going to find the UI for that. Then press E and GU. You're going to find all the keyframes and you can then adjust them. One good thing about motion verse is you don't need to start to change the values in order to use it for a different photo. Just simply press reset and it resets everything back to the default. And then you can delete the keyframes. Perfect. So we can go to our clean plate here, double click that and we can place another photo here and hide the other one and we can scale this photo then close it go back to editor comp here we go to animator we can minimize our ui to keep things clean you can hide the ui layer we're going to use a different process for this photo we're going to use motion verse projection engine to animate this photo so go to projector here open it and make it visible now we're going to go to our projector setup here we're going to use the scale and position so we're going to adjust the width the height and also scale out so here i'm going to adjust it I can use like 200 and here I can also scale the height I can use about 112 and then I'm going to also adjust that so about 112 we can move the vertical position can move it up like about minus 438 perfect now we can hide our grid and go back to animate we can now animate our zoom 
okay and also the camera pan and tilt so add keyframe here and keyframe there press k to move to the trimmed area and we can animate something like that we can animate the camera pan and tilt perfect now we can preview done your animation is now ready you can see it is easy to animate your photo using motionverse you can apply easy ease for the keyframes select the keyframes right click here and then easy ease you can also adjust the graph editor here all right so we're going to now animate our third image we have our third image here we can now go ahead and generate the depth map so double click that go to x and y enable and then we can open our 2d light and light properties and also channels for the light properties i'm going to adjust the global light So I'm going to move that to about 200. I'm going to go to light pan here and I'm going to adjust that to about six to five. Maybe like 0.9 here and that's done. Then we can go to our 2D light properties here we can now go to the position and we can adjust that so i'm going to enter like 900 and i'm going to enter like 20 here and i'm going to enter like minus 690 here and i'm going to enter like minus 1280 here and I'm going to go for the intensity here, maybe like minus 38, here like minus 38.4, and here we can have like, like 140 here. Great. Now we can go to the channel, our red and blue. So we have our red and minus, so we can put like minus 200. And then here we can put like 300. Perfect. So our depth map is now ready for this image. We can apply the fast smoothness. We can then close it. Go back to our editor comp here, go to animator. Go to display our scene here fast render we can select plane scene we're going to hide objects because we didn't add any 3d objects for this scene and we're not going to use 3d particles i'm going to boost performance here i'm going to close display we can enable our depth map enable here and I can select our generator. So you can also view that from here. Now we're going to go to refine map. We're going to leave that open as we animate. Then go to animate, animate camera. You can add keyframe for the lens and the pan and tilt camera here. And also for the wide angle. Press K to move to the end of our trimmed comp and we can animate here our camera pan and tilt. So meanwhile I can minimize the UI 
and we can do that again. Looking great, and we can move that a bit this side. And then we can zoom in in 3D. And also zoom in to our lens. Perfect. The reason why I left this open so that you can make adjustments for the depth map. You can smoothen the edge. You can see that. Okay, we can now preview our animation. Look at that. Our animation is done. The next thing we can do now is to apply FX. We can add some atmosphere. All right. Okay, I'm going to unminimize the UI. We go to our FX bank. And I'm going to apply first fog for the atmosphere. I'm going to enable that. And then we can just lower down the intensity. And if you want, you can also add like sun. To the sun. And you can change the position. Something like that. And we can go back to animator here to apply a filter. So can go to color grade, activate, and you can now play around with the effect. Awesome. And one more thing is you can animate the 3D sun. rotation there. We can go to the beginning of our timeline, add keyframe, press K, and then we can move there. Let's minimize UI and then preview. The animation is now complete. This is what you can do with Motionverse and even more. Now I'm going to show you how you can export this animation. You go to the scene here, export. And you can choose the aspect ratio you want to render out. You have the horizontal here, you have vertical, you have square for your social media, you have for the cinema and also for Instagram. So I'm going to render out 1080p and I'm going to go back to my editor here, press K to make sure that I'm at the end of the trim comp, then go back to my render for the 1080p and I can press N. Then I can set this to full and activate motion blur. You can then go ahead to render it out through Media Encoder or through After Effects. So this concludes our tutorial for today. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment here. I will see you in the next tutorial. Take care.